Hi friends, Tracy here from The Sewing Channel. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. It's been a while since I've done a Goodwill haul with an auction. There's just been nothing that great these days to show you at my Goodwill. A lot more people are out picking, and they are picking my Goodwill. I have an awesome auction for you to take advantage of today. Be on the lookout in this video for that. Enough talking already. Let's go thrifting. First thing I see today are some knitting needles. You know, those little white plastic ones right there. There's two packs. There was no price on it, so I can't even tell you what the price was. In the back here, there was a purse handle for $1.99 if anybody's looking. The package on this one said that it was a banner kit, but it looked like it had a bunch of beads to it and you could put pictures and photos and such. Here was a Boy Scouts vest. I thought that was kind of neat. There were no patches in it though. Candle wicking. What in the world is candle wicking? This was $1.99. Someone let me know. I have no clue. Here was something that caught my eye. It was from Nancy's Notions. It was a bunny mat kit. I think you put candles around it, like a table runner type thing. They only wanted $1.99 for it, but I passed. Now this caught my eye right here. I almost bought this, and this is why you have to inspect everything. I believe it was $1.99, but it was a darling cross stitch. But upon closer inspection, you can see that the needle had rusted in there, which tells me that this thing was around a lot of moisture, so I definitely passed. Here was a doll pattern kit for a $1.99. On the right hand side, there's a hat craft kit, and then here, my Goodwill had a lot of zippers today, and they're 99 cents. They actually went up in price. They used to be only 59 cents. For $2.99, as seen on TV, you can get an easy bow maker. Hmm, has anyone ever bought one of these before? Let me know down in the comments. All I could see on this was the Volkswagen symbol, and my husband drives that kind of car, so I grabbed it to see what it was, and here it was a cargo net. Now you know I popped on that for $2.99. Here again are some more knitting needles, and then back here, greening pins. What in the world are greening pins? Someone please tell me. <laughs> now here, these right here, these blue little stiletto sticks in plastic, they're at the dollar store, and that's where I bought my set exactly like this. Wonderful in the sewing room. Here are some vintage wooden, uh, they could be cross stitch hoops, I guess, and there was no price, so I can't even tell you what they were. Usually these bins are overflowing with tchotchkes, but I really couldn't find that much to show you all today. So I'm just sifting through some of the junk here and I don't know what that is. Tasty, I couldn't figure out what that thing was. If someone knows, let me know down in the comments. Here was a kit with a bunch of little cross stitches in it, but when I opened it to actually see what was in it, there was really nothing in it. So here's a vintage latch hook with the wooden handle. Those are really nice and sought after, I think. Here are some stamps, which we, we know from all my other videos, for some reason, we get a lot of stamps in my Goodwill, and I'm not sure why, but they're a really good price. The tool right here looks like it was a grommet type tool to help put buttons on. Now in this bin right here, this bucket, I actually think these were here like two months ago when I did a video. It was the same kind of old patterns that really didn't have all the pattern in the envelope. So that's probably why they're still there. Here they wanted $4.99 for this bag of buttons. I do think it was a decent deal. 
Now this right here, it said woodland animals. I kept looking and looking, trying to figure out what in the world these things are used for. And after I didn't figure it out, I set it down. But then as I dug further, I found more of those. So I decided to read what was on the back. They're actually placeholders, like on a table, a dining room table, if you're having a dinner party, I guess. I don't know. Here was some binding. Not very many in there, though, for the price. Up here was a beaded wall hanging that said welcome. And this was interesting. This was $4.99. It was a vintage Singer electric scissor type machine. I don't know. I've never used one. It reminded me of like an electric knife or something, but I put it back. Here, this was a kit of needles of some sort, it looks like. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. So many things I had no clue what they were today. Here was a cute little cross stitch, little project to do. And, oh, what's this? Oh my word, this was the deal of the day. And it is today's auction. Oh my word, look at this bag of binding and different, I don't know what, I have to go through it yet. So today's auction will start at only 99 cents for all of this binding and maybe rickrack. I don't know what's all in there. The auction goes live directly after the first airing of this video. The link to my eBay auction for this item will be down in the description box just below this video. Before I show you the rest of what I found at the Goodwill today, I wanted to share with you this close-up video of what exactly was in that bag, just so you can see. There were actually 41 pieces. Two of them were not in any kind of package, but the rest were all in a package. And the two that weren't in the package were those two yellow pieces, the silky binding and the cotton one. But check it out, there is a ton of bias tape here and it's all vintage good stuff from what I can tell. Some of the packages were partially opened, but it didn't seem like they were taken out. So go ahead, the auction will last for seven days. Good luck. Here was a bag of small little patches and such. And here was a bag of thread and some more ribbon here. I really don't like the way that my Goodwill shoves some miscellaneous stuff together. It doesn't even go together sometimes. I don't think they really know what's what when it comes to sewing. So here's some different ribbons. They do have really nice ribbon, but you have to take the time to go through it all in order to find out, you know, what's really in this bin. Now this next bag was very interesting. It was a big bag of latch hook yarn, if you know what I mean. But they wanted $10.99, so I said no way to that. I mean, it was all mix match and there was nothing in there that went together totally, so I don't know what they were doing there. They did have a lot of different bags of ribbon. Here was a template set for quilt making for different blocks, star blocks it looked like, but not all the pieces were there. Here was a baggie full of tiny cross stitch project. It was kind of neat. Someone would really enjoy that, I think, if they liked cross stitch. Here was some serger thread. I usually pop on serger thread, but I didn't because I just recently cleaned out all of my thread and I don't need any more thread. Next are some bags of yarn. They used to sell it a la carte, but now they do it in bags. So this one was $9.99 and this one was $10.99. Now I must admit, before the bags were pretty light, but they have jam packed these bags up and I do think now the price is worthy that's on it. This one, check out this, all these white ones for $6.99, that was a great deal. People always donate a lot of yarn at my Goodwill. I don't know. Oh, I wanted to show you this right here. It's for files, but you can actually set your rulers in there. And here I'll show you with this piece of cardboard. 
they go nice in there if you just lay them in sideways. I actually do use something similar to that for my rulers in my sewing room. Here they had yet another one for sale at the Goodwill. I'm telling you, they really work for the rulers for a couple bucks. Here were a couple of containers that you could put some notions in and such. And here for $2.99, I popped on this queen size flat sheet. They make the absolute perfect backing for my quilts. Check out all of the books in my Goodwill. I could literally spend hours right here. And honestly, my kids will tell you, I do. <laughs> The first book to catch my eye, Quilt Masterpieces, and it's a good one. This one may end up in an auction someday, but not today. <laughs> now this next book isn't my typical that I usually get. It's about cross-stitch. Now I do a little tiny bit of cross-stitch, but by no means that much. So I'll take a look at it, but it will probably end up in my eBay store. So if you like this one, keep your eye out. This next one, Quilting and Patchwork Handbook. I found this one interesting. I can't wait to leaf through it and read some of the articles in it. But that too may end up in my eBay store, you never know. Now on to the back room. There was this vintage sewing machine with its cabinet, so I opened it up and it is a Kenmore. And it looked to be in pretty good shape. The wood and everything on the outside seemed really nice too. They only wanted $19.99. Sounds like a good deal to me. Don't forget about the auction. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.